Hey guys, it's Dory. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am making right now an egg loaf. My husband and I have been dying for French to toast and so I am trying to perfect the egg loaf recipe. And I think I may have done it. Um, I am recording this after I've already added the ingredients in, but it looks like this, sort of like a cake batter. Um, I'm just waiting for the oven to be ready. Um, I'm baking at 350 for about 40 minutes. So let me tell you what I put in this time. So I used eight eggs, one stick of unsalted butter, one package of Philadelphia cream cheese, I used a tablespoon of xanthan gum, a tablespoon of uh, erythritol, which I just took it out of its container and put it in a Ziploc, um, a tablespoon of baking powder, and a heaping tablespoon of um, hazelnut flour. Um, and I believe that is it. I blended it in my Vitamix. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to perfect, once it cooks and it's been baking, because we've made so many in the last couple days, um, once it, it becomes puffy, um, I take it out and then it has some, you know, like it decreases down and, sorry, I have to scrape. I may have to get a scraper in there. But basically, it comes down and it, it shrinks down. And it shrinks down and uh, becomes kind of, it's not as firm in the middle as I would like. And so my husband and I are gonna try different things to um, see if we can fix that issue. One thing I'd like to fix is this Vitamix in the, Sheesh, they don't give you any room down there by the blade. Look, no room down there to really scrape anything out. Jeepers creepers. Um, but anyway, so I think this is going to do it. I think by adding the hazelnut flour, that may help it to be a little less eggy in the middle. It's not that eggy. It does have a really good, kind of feels like cheesecake. Um, but I don't know. I just, I feel like I can make it better. And so that's what this is. So I'm going to let you guys know after it bakes, if this is indeed the good recipe. So I'm going to let that bake for about 40 minutes. I believe I'll let you guys see what it looks like when it comes out. And then I'll also let you guys in to know whether or not I like it and it passes my test okay guys so this is how it comes out of the oven all the water in the pan almost evaporated out um, this is what it looks like it totally looks like bread um, I stuck my knife in earlier and I pulled out I don't know if you can see it a little bit of egg yeah now there's hardly any but it's gonna sit here and so it will have residual cooking. So I'm gonna leave this. It's gonna definitely deflate, but gosh, does it look and feel like bread. So I'm hopeful for this one. I'm gonna leave it here for probably about an hour, and then I'm gonna flip it over onto a pan and let it go into the refrigerator. And I'll let you guys see what that looks like before I put it away for the night. Hi guys, so this is the end of the night and I just want to show you how the um, egg loaf came out this time. So I think I definitely perfected it. I think I need to work on taking it out of the oven. Then what I did this time was I took it out of the bread. I let, I let it sit when it first came out of the oven. Then I took it out of the bread pan, the loaf pan, upside down. And I noticed that the bottom was still too eggy for me. It wasn't nice as the top was. And so I figured, well, let me just stick it upside down back into the loaf pan for another 10 minutes. So that will rise a little and brown. And so when you cut it, it'll have like a crust, like a normal piece of bread. And so that did work out well. 
but the only thing is I should have left it in the loaf pan and then stuck it in the refrigerator because what I did was I took it out of the loaf pan which caused it to um, not stay uniform and kind of smush down now it still came out great I still love it the stats are still great um, and this is what it looks like I just want to show you it's been in the refrigerator for a little while it's not you know the the hardest thing um, it does like peel off easy but it looks like little French bread um, I did actually make a grilled cheese sandwich with this and one thing after my husband and I did it you know did this for the last couple of days making French toast one thing that I also would say is when you're frying this in a pan to make a grilled cheese or French toast do not fry it in butter like we had been doing. Um, I spray some of the uh, um, cooking spray onto the pan and that actually browns it up and makes it a little bit more crispy so it has the texture that you really want for French toast or grilled cheese um, or a regular sandwich, I guess, um, if that's what you choose to do with it. And so um, that is it. I'm gonna post the pictures at the end of what my grilled cheese looked like because um, I did eat that tonight for uh, dinner. And um, that's it. I will, down below, put the recipe exact that I used and exactly what I did. And happy egg loaf.